All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 39. All right. So JavaScript has a feature called template literals, which allows us to interpolate variables directly within a string, right? Uh, template literals are denoted with back ticks, all right? And this is, uh, these characters are right above the tab key to the left of the one key, as opposed to single or double quotes. Variables can be passed into a template literal by surrounding the variable with this uh, dollar sign and curly braces. And this thing's called an embedded expression. Uh, the value of the variable will be inserted into the string, right? So let's uh, come over here. And if you want to look at, look it up at the MDM web docs, just type in temp template literals JavaScript. Come over here and you'll see it pretty much says the same thing right here. Uh, template literals are delimited, our literals delimited with backtick characters, allowing for multi-line string, string interpolation with embedded expressions. That's what we're going to be doing. And special constructs, pardon me, constructs called tag templates, which I've never done that. And we rarely use that. So uh, if we look at the example here, we've got const name equals Naomi and const template literal equals hello, my name is with the embedded, pardon me, embedded expression, a tilde and a, an ex, pardon me, and an exclamation point. And you see right here, these are the backtick characters, not single quotes, right? So when we do console.log template literal, we see, hello, my name is Naomi because uh, it's taking this variable and putting it in here, right? So that way we don't have to do like, hello, my name is plus, uh, you know, hello, my name is space plus name plus space this in a string. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically the uh, advantages. That's the advantage of a template literal. So now we're going to replace our concatenated string in the query selector with a template literal. We'll be sure to keep the space between our target ID variable and the input container class. All right. So what we're going to do here is first we'll take this ending uh, quote. We'll turn it into the tilde, not the tilde, the uh, back tick. We'll get rid of this one, get rid of this all the way back here. We'll double click this, uh, wrap it in the curly braces. Press uh, left arrow two times, and then we'll put a dollar sign in front of target ID, right? So now this is the, uh, oops, also in front of this dollar sign, we're gonna put the other uh, back tick character, right? So now this is, it's just like it was before. Uh, this target ID, this thing right here is going here. And then we've got the space uh, dot input container. We don't have to have the uh, uh, plus signs concatenating it together, right? So now let's check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 40, and we'll see you next time.